Bitcoin is definitely a disruption, and I think it actually is a good one. The reason is, what it provides for is a way to exchange value between two parties virtually without any loss of value or without paying a, a third party or, or so-called intermediary. The interesting thing with that is, I mean, there's nothing wrong per se with an intermediary, but they do introduce uh, you know, this layer of a centralized uh, trusted actor in the system that supposedly guarantees for the transaction. But think of the way that things are evolving with technology. So the internet of things with more and more things, billions of things getting connected on the internet, there is this opportunity for a internet of value which would actually connect all those things in new and meaningful ways. And wouldn't it be interesting if there was no need for centralized actors to control us, uh, this transaction, but you could rather interact with these things and with people and transform the way that we think of exchanging services and goods. Literally, you can uh, transact over uh, milliseconds instead of waiting for someone to accept your transaction. This would open up an entirely new possibilities for things like smart cities, um, wearables, sensors, anything where you have this idea that you see something where you can extract value or you uh, have something that you own or a resource that you have and you want to put it on a market. Essentially, it becomes a creator of a multitude of new markets. So that, I think, is the excitement. Now, should Bitcoin be regulated? The trouble is, what do you regulate? If you regulate banks, you regulated a very limited set of trusted parties. Um, but with Bitcoin, or with a peer-to-peer -peer based system, you would have to regulate everyone in a certain sense. So you can regulate the providers, but there will be many of them. All of this goes to say that I think it's hard to regulate Bitcoin. and. I understand that regulators want to, but I think it might be quite early in the process. We don't really know if Bitcoin or something else will survive this first wave. So I think for the banking industry, the more prudent choice here is not to be fearful of what this represents, but to look at it as an, oppor as an opportunity for innovation, as an opportunity to explore new business models. Because if you really think about it, banking has remained virtually unchanged for millennia. But on the other hand, if you embrace these new opportunities of technology, you would create new markets also for, for bankers and for intermediaries. So even though Bitcoin takes uh, a stab at the intermediary, it might not completely remove them.